and running from zero to infinity, and there's an X in it as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to try certain X values and see if it converges. If you don't have an idea of what to do, what's the best thing you can do first? If you have no idea, we have all these different tests for convergence, but let's say you have no idea how to do it, what's the best thing you can do? Yeah. List the terms, like literally list the terms. So if I were to plug negative one into this, if I were to plug negative one in, what are the first few terms going to be? So what's the first term going to be? Negative one to the... So it's to the n over two to the n, and it's the summation here, right? n equals zero to infinity. So if I were to start writing this out, if I plug in zero first, what do I get? What's the first term when I plug in zero? Okay, does that converge or diverge? Really? Uh, no, no, no. What's that? It converges. Why? What is it? It's 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 not harmonic. It's oh, not harmonic. Is it alternating? Yeah. Are the terms getting closer and closer to zero consistently? Mm -hmm. Yes. Therefore, by the alternating series test, we know that that what? It does converge. It does converge. Let's write out the next one, though. Let's say we plugged in x equals 3 n power. What type of series is that? What type of series is that? Uh, it's a geometric, right? So this is geometric. And what's the r value? 3 over 2. So does this converge? <laughs> it does diverge. Why? Because 3 over 2 is greater than 1. So therefore, it what? Diverges. So here's the thing. We have this power series. And when I say this power series, I mean this one right here. We have this power series. Depending on what x, the x value we use, it might converge and it, or it might diverge. It might converge or it might diverge. So what we're going to be looking at in this section is figuring out all of the values for which a power series converges, which also tells you when it doesn't converge. Now, what is this centered around? There's something that's missing, kind of quote unquote missing, but not really. What term are you, so this right here correlates to that. What term are you not seeing? What term are you not seeing in there? It's zero. So the way you could rewrite this, if you wanted to write it in the full way would be, what is it centered around? That's what it's gonna be called, x minus zero over one, uh, two to the n. It's also to the n power right there. What well, well, two to the n is c value? I can't see what the constant is. It can change though. The constant changes. So the constant, like. So the constant is actually one. Of so what are the constants here? That's a great question. The first constant. What's the first one going to be? Nope. It's going to be one fourth. Second one's going to be. And then one sixteenth, and then that one right there. Those are the constants. Oh, okay. And then you have x minus a to the increasing powers. Does this converge? We have five tests we could use. Anybody want to pick a test to try to run on this? Or what ones, let's go the absolute value in here. How does that help us simplify it, KU? What does it allow us to just get rid of? It, well, it just allows us to get rid of these, right? <laughs> because it's, it, it stays positive. So anything that potentially could make it negative, we just can get rid of. Yes, X, cancel. Uh, yeah, we have some stuff that can cancel, right? This come, that goes away, leaving you with just what on top? Yeah, there's one of them left. I don't kill it all, right? So what do you end up with, N times what? all over n plus one. Okay, so as this goes to infinity, what happens, as n goes to infinity, what happens to n over n plus one? That turns into what? One. one. So what is this gonna, what is this limit equal to? X minus one. What's the conclusion of the ratio test? The conclusion of the ratio test is, when does the thing converge, when does it diverge by the ratio test? When this is what? It's careful, no. Constant? <laughs> what? to converge. If this converges, this has to be true. In order for this power series to converge, the absolute value of x minus 1 must converge. Let's try to remember some algebra 2 here. This means that x minus 1 has to be less than 1 or greater than what? Negative 1. Negative 1. So x has to be between 2 and 0. So this power series converges when x is between 0 and 2. There's a big asterisk here. We have to clean something up. That's a terrible asterisk. We'll come back to it in a second. But let's go back to the graph. Does that kind of match what we have here? Let's just look at the behavior here. This, what did we predict? Something weird was happening at 2, right? And something also as weird is happening over here at 0 in terms of it getting infinitely big. We have to test something that we have. We're not done testing yet. Josh? Why is the bar that says raised to the left? What was our original one here? We have this expression right here. If x... We need to test x being 0 and x being 2. 
Let's plug in zero. What do you get for terms if x is zero on this? If x is zero, it's two. What happens when x is two? One minus what? Is it plus one over three? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Minus what? Oh, what's this? Alternating harmonic, does that converge? So this converges. What about this one? Diverges, right? So if I asked you what is the interval of convergence, the interval, IOC, the interval of convergence for this would be not containing zero, but containing two. This would be the proper answer for the interval of convergence for this power series. What's the radius of convergence, do you think? I didn't tell you what that was, but if this is the interval of convergence, what's the radius of convergence? One. What? One. one. Yeah, just one. Yeah, I love your switch. You're like, and the answer is one. <laughs> That's right. It's one. It's the radius of the interval. It's the radius. Key thing. You run the ratio test, but what do you have to test at the end after you run the ratio, the ratio test? You have to test the endpoints. Side note, going back to the ratio test conclusion, what happens if it equals 1? You don't know. That's why we're testing. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. Okay. So do you guys like running? Who can tell me that? Uh, yes. Uh, Yana, did you ever run it? Yeah, what is it? It's a sum of from n equals 0 to infinity. Of what? Uh, of x to the power of n over factorial. n factorial? Yeah. Does that work, everybody? Is 0 factorial defined as 1? Yeah. It is. It is. So that does work. You guys run in the ratio test? Yeah. So, so you end up with the limit as n goes to infinity of the absolute value of what? what's on top? x, like this? And then what's it over? n plus 1, right? You with me so far? Row, no matter what x is. x is a constant, it's finite, it stops, but n goes on and on and on. This is 0. So no matter what x is, this is 0. What does that tell you about the interval of convergence? This comes out to always, no matter what x is, this comes out to be 0. 0 is always less than what? Ratio to less than 1. This is always less than 1. So what does this tell us about the radius of convergence? It's infinite. So in this case, the radius of convergence is infinity. And for what x that means for what x values does this converge? For any x value, it converges. For any x value, it converges, which is pretty cool. So did you write a general form for this? Yeah. Yeah, what's the general form going to be? Any? Oh, it did come with one? Oh, I should, I mean, I should, I should remember that. Look at that, it does. <laughs> 2 to the 2n. So if, so you do have 2 to the 2n, x to the 2n. Oh, that's nice. Isn't that, oh, that's convenient. So what limit, is that correct? Yeah. So 4x squared, the absolute value of that has to be less than what? 1. So x needs to be between 1 half and negative 1 half. <laughs> but you need to test the endpoints. 1 half and negative 1 half. If we plug this in, what happens when you plug in a half? When x x equals one half, they all come out positive. Yeah. So one plus what? Something to the well, you can actually just find out what it is. Like, what is it going to be? Plug in a half. What do you get? Like, literally, list out the terms for me. What do you get? One plus what? One plus what? One, one plus what? One. one. So that definitely what? <laughs> Diverges. And then if you plug in x is equal to negative a half, it doesn't change anything because you're having these even powers. So it's also going to be what? 1 plus, 1 plus, da, da, da. You must test the endpoints. So the interval of convergence will be negative a half to positive a half. How do we figure